There are many people in this world who become famous, whether it's from inventions or being on television. There are stars all around today, and for the most part, they're very successful. And it's such a blessing when we hear that there are people out there who use their fame for the goodness of others. Today, I want to talk about one man who did exactly that. A man who used his fame and took his achievements a step further to help those in the midst of their suffering in a time of racism. His name was George Washington. And I'm not talking about George Washington, the first American president. I'm talking about George Washington Carver, the man who truly made a difference. Born in Diamond Grove, Michigan, during 1860, he was one of those exceptional people who saw the world through the eyes of beauty and hope, really strived to change his country for the better, and prove that regardless of your race, anyone is entitled to achieve success. But before I say how George Washington Carver was famous and respected, let's learn about his roots. He was born as an African-American slave and was always judged racially. All through his years, as a child, teenager, and as a young adult, George was faced with the sad reality that he couldn't go to certain schools since they were only for white people. He was thought of as a stupid and worthless person by most white people, was criticized hundreds of times, called by the N-word, beaten for no real reason, and robbed because of the color of his skin. But one unique skill that George Washington Carver had was that he was a fast learner, which really helped him to be successful in the long run. George had a secret garden and always loved to collect little things he'd find in nature. He was even known as the plant doctor when he was only 10. Although no one ever expected George would amount to anything, he always displayed huge interests in almost everything and learned from his mistakes. Eventually, his motto became learn by doing. Because of his determination to learn and prosper, George became the first African American to graduate Iowa State College of Agriculture at Ames. And soon after, he was invited back there to be the first teacher of color. The fact is, that George Washington Carver was very able to become a role model for the discouraged African Americans of his time. He was also inspirational because he proved to the many racist white people that African Americans are capable of so much more than just being slaves. He was very determined to give other African Americans a chance to learn and to succeed. In 1881, he helped Dr. Booker T. Washington open a school in Alabama for African Americans. Over the years, Carver developed his own crop rotation method in the world of agriculture. It wasn't long for people to see his genius, and soon more and more people planted peanuts to create huge surpluses. George discovered that the sweet potato and the pecan had nearly 20 different uses and had developed 325 different uses just from the extra peanuts. By the early 1920s, the white-controlled press paid George money generously, which really showed what blacks could achieve in the midst of a racially segregated society. Without a doubt, it would be true to say that all 82 years of his life definitely weren't wasted, and every moment of his time added up to all the big impacts he made in this world. George's caring desire to help the man farthest down never diminished. And even after his tragic death on January 5, 1943, George's love and dedication for righteousness and for his people continues to warm the hearts of people far and wide. He inspires all of us to think outside the box and to believe that with true focus and courage, the sky is truly the limit.